Hey guys, so today I have a fun art activity for us to do. We are going to be finger painting. And normally at school I would go and paint some apron or smock put on the cover their clothes to keep us clean. And then we would have finger paint. But since we're not at school, I just put on a t-shirt that I, might, I don't mind getting dirty. And I made my own finger paint. And I'm going to show you first how to make some finger paint. I've already made blue yellow, and green. And now I need to make some red paint, and I'll show you how. So first, you're going to want to get your container. I just use a little storage container for, like, leftovers, and I made, I picked one of the shallow ones, so it's easier for me to put my fingers in or put, like, a sponge or whatever I want in there. So you're going to need... Depending on how much you want to make, it's just me at my house, so I just made a little bit. So I have a third cup of flour. Pour that in. And then a third cup of salt. So it's not going to be very tasty if you try to eat it, but it is edible. Pour that into your flour, and then I use a fork to mix those up so that there's no clumps. Mix it like so. And then you need the same amount of water as you do the salt and flour. So a third cup of water, some food coloring. I want it kind of dark red, so I'm going to put about five drops. One, two, three, four, five. Set that over there. Mix, mix it up. And you want to pour in the water slowly. Or else you won't get the right consistency. If you pour it in all the way, it'll just turn out really clumpy. And not the smooth texture that you want your paint to be. Mix up some of that red paint. See, I only poured a little bit. I'm mixing it up. It doesn't mix up all the way, but it's got some of it in there. A little bit more. Okay, mix that up. It's starting to get the right consistency. I'm not sure you can tell. Now it's like a little bit like this, and I can see that the water I have poured in has touched all the dry ingredients, so I'm going to pour the rest of my water in. Put that to the side, and mix the rest together. I like to use a fork to do my mixing, because with a spoon I feel like it will leave clumps, and when I've done it with my fork it doesn't leave as many clumps. I get that smooth consistency for her finger painting. Now either you can do this by yourself or you can have your kids help. I like to make this with my nephews and they love scooping and measuring. And they like to mix colors too. My oldest nephew, his favorite color is purple, so he likes to mix red and blue to make the purple. And you see that yours is too thick, you can add a little bit extra water. See this one that I made, the red I made right now, it's a little 
too thick. It's more like a dough. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Just a little bit. You don't want to add too much or then it'll be too runny and it won't work on your paper. Just a little more water. Get it a little thinner. Mix that together as best you can. Now it's looking better. There we go. There's our red. It looks kind of pink. But that's okay because I'm going to make flowers because we're talking about gardening. So then I just got some construction paper. I'm going to use white so that I can make sure all my colors show up. So it's finger painting and it washes right out of your clothes if you get anything on your clothes. So you can use your hands or I found this cool technique to do a flower. You just get an old bottle. I'm using a water bottle that has the little feet on the bottom. So you can use like a Coke or a dark pepper or something like that. You can dip it. I'm going to make a blue one. So you can dip it in your paint like so. Pull it out. Like that. You just want to press it on your paper. It makes a flower. You can make whatever you want. Um, have some fun.